Well, how are y'all doing today? How are y'all doing? It's the start of the weekend and we're doing good. We have a uh, guest co-host walking with us today and he is stopping at every point and every turn to do what? Yeah, everything. Come on here, boy. But anyway, I uh, asked y'all a couple of days ago if I should put a video out about Halloween and how I was praying on it. I did get prayer on it and interestingly enough, as it would have it, uh, a brother in Christ yesterday did, you know, maybe an hour plus long video about Halloween and I just found that so interesting, but it, it was kind of confirmation to me how the timing of God works. Some things he gives you or some, some unctions he give you, gives you are uh, while he's giving it to you, he's giving it to others. So there's something that could be said about that and how the body of Christ works together. And, you know, we're unique and we're individual, but sometimes God gives us a shared vision to speak on certain things. With that being said, I'm just going to say what I'm going to say. And I'm going to, I'm going to take the scripture and I, uh, the scripture is let each be convinced in his own mind. And I say, let each be convinced in his own mind because with Halloween, as with every other holiday, the orange origins of every other holiday can be, uh, translated as pagan can be trained out the roots of every holiday every set apart day uh can be you get down to the origins and the brass tacks of the holiday all of it is demonic all of it is um can be pagan or be derived from a pagan origin pagan roots all of them the celebration of holidays uh, is a pagan is a pagan tradition. But you going to work, you're working for a pagan company. You are driving home in a pagan car. You have pagan tennis shoes on your feet. If you are, if you have Nikes on, Nike is the goddess of victory. So I mean, the world you live in is a pagan fallen world. So when I say let each be convinced in his own mind, I'm saying that to say that I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> uh, you can't celebrate Halloween and you're going to go to hell and da 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 da. No, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you like this. There is no holier day to the Lord. There is no more holier set apart day to the Lord than the day you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and believed on him in his heart. That is the only true holiday that the Lord regards. That's the only holiday that is of importance to him. So the question is not about the origins of Halloween, which by the way, October the 31st, on the satanic calendar, the Church of Satan's calendar. October the 31st is the highest, holiest set apart day for the satanic church. It is a high holy day. It is a day where witches and warlocks perform rituals, kidnap children and animals and sacrifice them. October 31st is a day where trafficking of all kinds, sex trafficking, uh, child trafficking is at a height. Law enforcement is on call 24-7 as it is, but on October 31st, they know they're going to have to be on high alert because that's when so much of this activity takes place because it's the Church of Satan's highest holy day. There is no higher demonic energy on any day save Halloween. <laughs> um... Second to that is Christmas, <laughs> as far as the satanic calendar goes. And you can look all of this stuff up. I ain't just popping all of this stuff off the top of my head. You, you, you can research it and look for yourself. 
but um, I was just noticing uh, the decorations in my neighbor's yard, which I'm not going to show any of their houses and stuff like that. And I was just noticing from the standpoint of October and how my neighbors go all out. See what I'm doing, but anyway, <laughs> I notice how my neighbors go all out for uh, the holiday and decorate their house with skulls and everything in the yard. I'm not talking about the little cutesy pumpkins and the little autumn leaves, no, I'm talking about skulls, bones, coffins, headstones, uh, undertakers uh witches uh demons you know i'm talking about the most macabre gruesome stuff that you've ever seen some of it one of my neighbors has a gosh gotta be a 10 or 11 foot skeleton in the yard just huge and i'm just noticing how this is just me i'm noticing how they go all out october they trick or treat and and party and all of this stuff. But by November, December, when it's Christmas time to celebrate that, they're all in for that. But it's so somber and so, I mean, Halloween is just like joyful and they're just partying and having the best time. But by Christmas, they had the Christmas lights up, but around here it's extremely depressing. The mood is somber, it's like, you know, I don't want to live no more. It really is. It just feels almost, so, well, I ain't going to say that, but it just feels very uh, depressed and down around here at Christmas time. And I'm just like, there is a, a weird demonic energy. It's like the holiday that should be celebrated because of what the holiday represents. It's like reversed it's just it's just strange to me but what i was saying is what you do in the natural i'm all over the place i know i'm, I'm gonna try to tie it all up but what you do in the natural has spiritual consequences and you think oh it's just a skeleton it's no big deal uh and maybe it's not but then what if it is what if what you do on the outside affects what you do on the inside? If you sit and eat a dozen donuts on the outside, it's going to affect you on the inside. If you put all of these symbols of witchcraft outside in your front yard, or some even in your backyard, Will that change the spiritual atmosphere around your house and in your house? Not trying to get spooky and ooh and ah, but just thinking. Just thinking. I mean, as a Christian, as a Christian, as somebody who loves the Lord and who is seeking the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, why do you have... <laughs> everything anti in your front yard even for a day the big question is what kingdom are you representing and what kind of what kind of outcome do you want i mean like look at this i'm not going to show too much but but look at that that's nice it's cute it's cutesy but what kingdom do you represent? What kingdom do you, what kingdom are you representing with all of that? And would that have an effect on your overall mood at a time where you should be celebrating? Are you giving all of the fruits of the spirit to a holiday that the Church of Satan recognizes as its, its Christmas? and you're a Christian. No, you're not going to hell. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, before I knew anything that I know now, uh, 
I was a Christian. I considered myself, I, I confessed Jesus at eight, nine years old. So I went to church, so I felt like I knew the Lord. And my parents knew the Lord. But we went trick or treat, dressed in costume, Bob for apples, had candy apples, uh, the whole nine yards, black cats and heaven and demon and angel parties and everything you could think of as far as Halloween. Candy galore, teeth rotten, okay? Uh, because my parents didn't know that Halloween was a high holy holiday for the church to say. It was just tradition. It was just what we did. The neighborhood got together and we just had fun. It was just about us getting candy and being together. It wasn't about, uh, it wasn't about any satanic days. But when you know better as a Christian, you do better. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I spoke like a child, I reasoned like a child, I understood like a child. But when I become a man, I became a man, I put away childish things. I put away childish things. You know now that the Church of Satan reveres Halloween. I'm not trying, I'm not here to tell you what to do at all. But I just want to under I just want you to understand what kingdom you're representing on that particular day. Yeah, every day could be a chance to have some activity, some demonic activity of some sort. Yeah, it can happen on any day. But if you know that's a high holy satanic day, why why celebrate? Why celebrate to that degree? As a Christian, we're to represent the Lord in every aspect, in every aspect of our lives. And I just had to put this out here to give it, give it some thought. We need to think about it. We really, really do. God bless you.